Extending SC31 to North Carolina, an alternate route from Conway to Myrtle Beach. Just a couple of projects under consideration tonight. It is a monumental task as Horry County's Ride 4 Committee has just two months to narrow down a list of those projects you'll vote on in the 2024 general election. And it's really all about trying to stay within the budget. Our Ian Klein was at tonight's gathering. He joins us live. Ian, how many projects could be part of what is known as Ride 4? It's going to be much smaller than what we know as Ride 3. If Ride 4 passes in 2024, the committee expects it to generate about $825 million over that seven-year collection period. However, the total cost for all the projects submitted to Ride 4 by the committee sits at around $3.3 billion. All of these projects have merit. That doesn't mean that any that doesn't get selected is not an important road project. I think it just highlights... Uh, the demands are far greater than the resources that are currently available to us. Part of the responsibility of Ride 4 is taking on any unfinished Ride 3 projects. This evening, the committee received an update on the Southern Evacuation Lifeline route, which was allocated $25 million to complete an environmental study, which is expected to wrap up this summer. The road would offer an alternative evacuation for residents in the southwestern part of Horry County, alleviating traffic off Highway 544. SCDOT's Leah Quattlebaum says that in a perfect world, they might be able to obtain permits in 2026, but admits it's highly unlikely and will most likely be contested. You look at the amount of time and money, and then we've had to redo several things. And I think we're going to have to do that again, because environmentally, you're going to have a lot of challenges to that project. Another topic, the connection SC31 to North Carolina. Ultimately, the committee believes it is in their best interest to finish their half of the project, no matter how long it takes North Carolina to meet them at the border. Do we take an alternate, instead of connecting with North Carolina like it's supposed to, do we just terminate it somewhere else along the route and then North Carolina can eventually come to us? Uh, once they get their act together. The committee also began removing several projects from the proposed list, which included freeing up nearly $360 million by removing the Lake Busby construction part of the project and allocating $60 million towards the environmental study. I don't think we need to fund any part of Lake Busby in this path now that INR has established priority. County Council is likely to follow and make it a priority. Seven other projects were also taken off the list of 34. The committee plans to try to narrow down the list further by its next meeting in April. This needs to be a complete countywide effort and a, and a plan that we can move forward in uni, unanimously uh, and that we all can feel like, yes, we did the most amount of work for the most amount of people, recognizing that we've got to present a plan that becomes passable. Ride 4 committee has until May to make their final list before it goes in front of the Sales Tax Commission and eventually Horry County Council for final approval before going on the general election ballot in 2024. In the control room, Ian Klein, WMBF News.